Nanjing Mythware Information Technology Company Limited, a national high-tech enterprise, is committed to providing global users with a series of powerful solutions in the field of educational information. Mythware's main products, Mythware Classroom Management Software, Language Lab, and Mythware Classroom Cloud AP have been vended to over 60 countries and regions, covering 310,000 school users with 30 million end users. The excellent performance and great reputation of Mythware products has also attracted key strategic partners including Intel, HP, Tsinghua, Tongfang and Huawei to cooperate with us. Mythware classroom management software had been put on the market in 2007 through the use of tens of millions of users worldwide combined with practical teaching feedback and continuous improvement has become an excellent interactive teaching software with complete function and superior performance. This video is to introduce the application scenarios and operation steps of the main functions of the three models of Mythware classroom management software, namely interactive teaching, classroom management and teaching assessment. We sincerely hope that this video can help you quickly understand the classroom management software and apply it into your regular teaching so that the software will become a good helper in strengthening your classroom interaction and the management level of your class. Screen broadcast. Teachers will be able to broadcast their screen to all or selected students synchronously. They will be able to broadcast the content in various formats, such as PowerPoint, Word, PDF, etc. Click the screen broadcast button on the function bar to minimize classroom management and the teacher's screen is broadcasted live to all or designated students by selecting the students before clicking the broadcast button. At the top of the screen, there's a floating toolbar for broadcasting functions. The teacher will be able to use a screen pen to annotate the important parts on the screen and will be able to broadcast voice by clicking on the begin voice broadcast button. The teacher will be able to invite a student to take control of the teacher's computer and to broadcast a demonstration to all students. Click the student demonstration button, select the student and click OK. The selected student can start demonstration with screen pen. Click the student demonstration again to end the student demonstration. Click the screen record button to record the teacher's voice and all operations. Clicking the show or hide window button won't exit broadcast. Click this red X cancel to end screen broadcast. Student demonstration. With this function, the teacher will be able to display one student's screen to all students. These functions will help teachers understand and interact more efficiently with students. To carry out teaching via demonstration, to promote knowledge sharing among students, to motivate and to improve the effectiveness of teaching. The teacher would just need to select one student and click on the student demonstration button. The other students will then be able to see the student's operations. It is possible to demonstrate to all students, to selected students or to groups. There are three modes on the window. Share mode. The student and the teacher can operate at the same time. Monitor mode. The student will be in control of operation. Control student mode. Only the teacher will be in control of the student's computer. Teachers will be able to temporarily stop a student's demonstration by clicking silence and then transfer their focus to the teacher's side. Teachers will also be able to take a snapshot or launch a screen record to record the highlights during demonstration. Click close to exit student demonstration. Net movie. Teachers will be able to play videos from mainstream media and broadcast it to students seamlessly. The progress of the video played can be conveniently saved to resume playing the next time from the last position saved. Click the Net Movie button. The Net Movie window will pop out on both teachers' and students' devices. In the File pull down menu, click Open to open any format of audio and video media files stored in the computer, or click the first button in the lower right corner to open file. You can also click the plus button to add the media files to the list 
and so as other files you want to let add. And then double click the file name to show the video. The teacher can switch display mode between window and full screen by clicking the second button on the lower right corner. Under the full screen view, the students will not be able to do anything. Teachers would also be able to control the video play position. Interactive whiteboard. Interactive whiteboard provides a collaborative space where teachers and students are able to interact with each other. On the whiteboard, the images, paintings, screenshots and documents are shared with students. We provide various tools for drawing. Exercises can be imported into interactive whiteboard and then the teacher would be able to invite one or more students together to do exercises. At the same time, the teacher is able to make annotations or let selected students do it themselves. Typical cases contain exams, drawings, writings or even games. Click the interactive whiteboard button. The window will pop out on students' devices. Click new and then blank whiteboard to create a blank whiteboard. Teachers can start drawing on the board. Click new and then load image to insert picture on the board. You may use tools like filler in teaching from the toolbar. The teacher may ask students to draw together or individually. Choose co-draw mode to invite students to draw together by clicking the small triangle icon on the student list. Students working will show on teacher's board. Or choose draw individually to select and monitor a student to demonstrate while drawing. On the teacher side, you can monitor each student's individual work on one single screen. Student's working process is shown at the same time. Double click a student to look at the board of the student. Click back on the lower left corner to return to the teacher's side and then click stop to stop all students work. Click the disc icon to save the work. Camera. The audios and videos played from external devices such as VCD, DVD, VCR and DV can be broadcasted to students. It is best for the teacher to display the operation step by step during the demonstration lessons. Click the camera button. The camera window will pop up on both teachers' and students' devices. Click the properties button in the lower right corner of the window to select the video and audio equipment. Click OK button to complete AV access. Click the broadcast button to broadcast the image and voice to the students. Click close to exit camera. Chat. Communication is indispensable in teaching. CMS provides two kinds of chat, group chat and topic chat. To create a new group, click the plus button. The edit group window will pop out. Teacher can select group members in the student list. Then click OK and a new group is created. You can also highlight students in the all members table and drag them to the plus button to create new group. Click OK and a new group is formed. To choose group chat, click chat and then group chat and a select grouping type window will pop out. There are five grouping types, pairing, group by line, group by column using existing group and random grouping. Select one grouping type and the group name, click OK, group chat window is created. Members in the same group can chat by pictures, text, handwriting, emoji, sharing files or screenshots. Files uploaded will show in the list on right file page. Click X to exit the group chat window. Click the chat button to choose topic chat. Click the plus button to add a new topic chat. Type the topic in the blank and click OK. Teachers can create different topics by clicking the plus button and name them. Students can select one to join in. The teacher can share ideas with students of the same topic. Click the X button to exit the topic chat window. Group teaching. To create an enthusiastic learning atmosphere, the group teaching function can conduct free discussion via voice, texts, and so on. Click the group teaching button to select all groups or part of groups and launch group teaching. Click the plus button and select group members in the student list. Click the OK button 
and the new group is created. You can also create new group by highlighting students in all members table and drag them to the plus button. Click OK and another new group will be created. Click the group teaching button and then part of groups. Select the group and click OK. It moves to group teaching window. To appoint a group leader, select one student and right click select leader. You can also select a group leader by clicking the first icon on the upper right corner. The second icon on the upper right corner is about student settings. You can select the authorised functions in the list to the group leader. Click OK to finish setting. Screen broadcast, net movie and remote command are available in group teaching. You may find a related button on the upper bar. Click close to end group teaching. Monitor and control. Using the monitor feature, teachers would be able to remotely monitor one or more students. The teachers would be able to set the number of students to be displayed on the screen, view the duration and also to rotate the screen. The screenshots of students' screens can be captured and stored by the teacher. Click the monitor control button to monitor all students. A maximum of 36 students can be monitored on one single screen. Double click the student screen thumbnail to monitor the selected student. Click share to then allow both teacher and student to jointly control the student's computer. Click monitor to only allow the student to control the computer. And click control student to allow the teacher to control the student's computer. Remote command. Teachers run the remote command to set up networks, open or shut down websites, applications, shut down or reboot computers remotely. Click remote command launch application to open the applications of student side remotely. Select one application on the list and click launch remotely. The teacher can add applications in the list too. To close applications on a student's device, click Remote Command and click Close Application. In the dialog, you can edit the message that will be shown on the student's screen and for how long. After clicking OK, all applications will be closed on the student's device. To remotely open a website, click Remote Command Open Website. In the dialog, there's a list of websites that you can edit. Select a website from the list and click Launch Remotely. The selected website will be opened on the student's device. The teacher can remotely set up the tab date, display, network, sound, language, and many other options. Click Remote Command Shutdown to remotely shut down the student's PC. You can edit a message to remind students and force shutdown without prompt. File Distribution the teacher can distribute and collect homework or exercises in an instant. Simply drag the files to upload. The files are stored in different folders for easy access. Click the file distribution button, select the file and add into the list. Click send and it will be sent to all students. Click the file collection button to allow students to submit files. The teacher will receive the file after clicking Accept. File Collection. This function introduces a new way of collecting students' homework. The teacher would be able to collect some or all of the students' homework in various file formats and would be able to easily run through the status of all the homework submitted through the file collection logs. The students do not need to submit their homework one at a time. If the teacher wishes to remind the students to submit their documents, Click on the file collection button. Students will receive a pop-up window prompting for file submission. Students can submit documents directly to the teacher. There are two ways to collect files. The student's active submission and the mandatory collection by teacher. Silent. If attention is required in class, teachers can blank students' screens. Click the silent button. All students will see a big silent on the screen with an option to raise their hand. Click silent off to end the silent mode. Class management. This function is to create classes, manage classes and manage student list. The teacher is able to switch to different classes and launch the sign in operation to access class management. Click manage class 
manage class. Click edit and you can change the class name and move students out of the class or into the class. To create a new class, click new and edit class members and class name. To activate the current class, select it and click activate. To manage new students name list, click manage class and choose manage name list. Click add to import students basic information and a password for student sign in. Click import to import a pre-edited name list in Excel format, which will input all students' information automatically. Sign in operation. After activating class, sign in operation is available. Click sign in and the teacher can set up a password and a time, after which students will be considered late. Then click start to launch sign in. Click signed information and you will clearly check every student sign in status. The teacher can compare the attendance status with the student list. Click Manage Class Anonymous Mode. Switching to the Anonymous Mode will lose all students' signed information. Message. This feature allows the teacher to send messages to all the students or selected students for individualized teaching. Students may also send messages to the teacher. Click Message and select the student you want to send message to input message and send to all members or groups. On students' mobile devices, click the message button on the toolbar, input contents and click send. The teacher will receive the message. The teacher has the option to block students from sending messages. Policy control. Policy control is to restrict students' activity in class. It is used to set different policies on the use of web applications, USB, media and printers. Click the third icon on the left view list to switch to policy view. Web policy supports three different policies, open, whitelist and blacklist. Choosing open will allow students to visit all websites. The whitelist means the students can visit websites in the whitelist. Click on blacklist to show a list of websites that the students will be restricted from. Click the web policy button and click advanced. There, you can manage whitelist and blacklist in the dialog box. The operation of application policy, USB disk policy, CD policy, and printer policy are similar to web policy. Introducing views. Our classroom management software provides seven view modes. Monitor view, the default view of the software, showing the student side of the desktop thumbnails. The student group, battery power, and other information. Report view shows more detailed information about the student side, such as student name, device name, IP address, system type, battery power, and process. Teachers can also customize the details that need to be displayed. Policy view shows teachers' views and changes to the use of the user's web page, applications, USB disk, CD, and printer. File submission view shows the submission status of the student's file. Answer sheet view shows quiz history and the status of student's answer. Response competition shows the score of each student. Interactive whiteboard. The teacher can quickly switch to the interactive whiteboard function by clicking this view. Teachers can click share button to show the whiteboard to students. Classroom cloud. To ensure the good implementation of software functions in a wireless environment, we recommend to you the Classroom Cloud AP, which is developed independently by Mythware. The Cloud AP provides a stable LAN environment for classrooms and provides local storage capabilities. After connecting the Classroom Cloud AP, the teacher can automatically identify the network and a Classroom Cloud function button will appear on the right side of the function bar. Teachers can realize the management of the internet and the storage and sharing of teaching resources through Classroom Cloud function. Click the Classroom Cloud button. The teacher needs to enter the password the first time to use this function. The default password is teacher and you can enter the class cloud after confirmation. Click the Open Class Cloud disk in the drop down menu to access the Classroom Cloud storage space so that the teacher can store and call teaching resources uniformly. Click allow students to use the internet and at this point the students devices which connect to Mythware Cloud AP can access the internet. 
If you click on the forbid students to use the internet, students are unable to access the internet. Click the option button in the drop down menu and enter the configuration interface of Mythware Cloud AP, where you can configure according to your own requirements. At the same time, the customer can divide independent storage space for students according to the requirements. The teacher enters the configuration interface of Mythware Cloud AP. The default account name and password are both admin when logging in for the first time. Where to find student account in account settings. Then click add to add new student account. Students also able to log in their personal storage space with their own student account. Click MySpace and input the user name and password. Then click OK to log in the storage space. Quiz. Teachers will be able to access students' progress using the quiz feature. The feature enables quiz papers to be marked and analyzed automatically. Teachers will also be able to monitor the student's level of understanding and progress in the study program and enjoy an efficient teaching experience. To create answer sheets for pre-made quizzes, click Quiz Create Answer Sheet. Answer Sheet Editor window will pop out. Then click Import Quiz Paper. Import the quiz paper to the software, which supports PDF, Word, Excel, PPT, and even pictures. After importing the quiz, go to Create Answer Sheet. Click the tick icon to add multi-choice questions. Click the tick cross icon to add true or false questions. Click the third icon to add fill in blank questions. Click the fourth icon to add essay questions. And click the pencil icon to add handwriting questions. To set question type, drag the question type icon to the left of the question number. Set the correct answer on the right side. Click the disk icon to save the edited answer sheet. Click X to return to the main user interface. If you want to open the answer sheet created, click Quiz Create Answer Sheet. Click the file icon on the top right corner and select the answer sheet created. Then you can start editing. To start a quiz, click Quiz Start Quiz. You can set the quiz name, duration, type, count, score, and then click Import Quiz Paper to import the answer sheet prepared. After these have been set, the quiz will begin. A student list will pop up showing the progress and results. Teachers will be able to see the student's progress as well as their results as they have selected their answers. Once all the students have submitted their answer sheets or when the quiz duration ends, the teacher can start grading. Choose yes to grade the quiz immediately. Questions are graded according to the correct answer. Total score and result are shown on the right side. Click on the question to check the score, the student's answer and the correct answer. Teacher may regrade the result by clicking cross or tick button and grade the question as zero mark or full marks. Click X to exit. The grading process will save automatically. Teachers would also be able to use the quiz grader in the quiz menu to grade quiz for each student. Grading that is saved while in the process can be retrieved at a later time and resumed. Teachers will also be able to mark past quizzes by retrieving them from quiz history. After grading, quiz results can be checked in the quiz history. Click send result to send result to student. Click export and save as for student period statistical summary. Survey. Survey is a simple and convenient way to check on students' progress. Teachers will be able to check students' understanding of certain concepts using the survey function. In addition to that, this function can be used for anonymous voting for a class monitor. Click survey and a pop-up survey window will appear. Click question type in the survey question column, edit questions and edit correct answer and duration. The option of having no correct answer to the options can also be set by clicking the box. Click Save to save current survey for future use, after which the survey questions will be saved in Teacher's account. Click Start to start the survey. The survey results are shown once the students submit their answers. When students submit their answers, the Teacher's account will receive the submission statistics 
and the students will be given the answers as well. Click new and then open. Select a question file to use saved survey questions. Click exit to return to the main user interface. Response competition. Teachers will be able to stimulate students' responsiveness through response competition function. It can stimulate students' motivation for learning and grab their attention. Click response competition. The response competition window will appear. It supports three types of competitions. First to answer, enter an answer, and first to demo. In the first to answer mode, teachers will be able to set the time for thinking and answering. The teachers will also be able to set the award points. After clicking start, students will need to wait until the time ends before pressing the answer button. Only the student who first presses the answer button is allowed to answer the question and must answer within the time allocated. Teachers will check the answer and the system will give an update for the score. The award of stars can be collected to be achieving a moon award. In the enter and answer mode, teachers need to enter the question and set a correct answer. After which, all the students can participate in answering the questions. And the system will grade automatically based on answers set earlier by the teacher. In the first to demo mode, the system will display the screen of the student who first presses the answer button in order to allow the students to demonstrate his knowledge and skills to everyone. This mode is similar to the student demonstration function where the student's screen is broadcasted to the other students. The above video is based on the classroom management software's main functions, introduction of three models, namely interactive teaching, classroom management and teaching assessment. If you have any questions about our software, you are welcome to call our technology service 8625-6698-7899 or leave your message at our website www.mythware.com. Mythware professional technicians will answer your question as soon as possible.